You guys are in for a treat. You know them. You love them. Ladies and gentlemen, rising superstar. Make some noise for Casey Rocket, everybody. Lord, forgive me, because I'm about to riff. All right, very cool. All right, God, miss when men were men in this country, you know what I mean? Just miss when men were men. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about when men were men. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about dressing up like a deer and scaring your Latino neighbors. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Como se dice the Wendigo. You know what I'm getting at? I'm talking about when men were men. You know what I mean? When men were what? <laughs> men, folks. Hey, I'm talking about when men were men. Talking about calling in late to work because you got caught in a saw trap again. You know what I'm saying? Talking about women were mad. Talking about men were mad. Fuck. <laughs> Talking about that. Folks, hey, men were what? Men. I'm talking about, I'm talking about adopting a kid and getting him really sick just so you can meet John Cena. You know what I mean? I'm talking <laughs> Then avenging Shawn Michaels' loss at WrestleMania 23. Talking about men were what? Men. I'm talking about having a daughter fall in a well and she comes back every seven days to crawl out of people's television screens. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about when men were men. Guys, hey, I'm talking about when men were men here. I'm talking about pulling a gun on Papa John and demanding he apologize for saying the N-word. You, know I mean? you really let us down, Papa! All right, thank you. I'm Casey Rocket. Have a good night. All right. Yes. Boom. Casey Rocket. Talking about when men were men. When do you think that ended? When did men stop being men? God, what do y'all think? 1983, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Probably 83. When was the last year the Celtics won a championship? I think it, maybe 1983, I think even? It was 83. I think it was either 83 God. or 83. It's back just... When, <laughs> back when men were men. Casey Rocket, you did it again. Lord has forgiven you, for you did riff indeed. I did. <laughs> I really did. It's just tough, man. When I was a kid, we used to take Roombas to school. You know what I'm saying? Roombas? Roombas. The vacuum cleaner? The vacuum, man. <laughs> the floor robotic vacuum cleaner? Yeah, Those yeah. were a thing when you were a kid? When I was a kid, men were men. We used to take, <laughs> <laughs> we used to take Roombas to school, and if it hit a crack, you were, you were fucked, man. You're going the other way. Hopefully your school was north, you know? Yep. No doubt about it. <laughs> no doubt about it. The old floor compass. That's what they call them. The old floor compass. Yep. The Roomba. The Do you have a Roomba now? Nah. You have a handheld vacuum cleaner of some kind? Nah, man. <laughs> Sorry, I said that kind of cryptically as if something bad happened with, with the Roomba. Not since the accident. <laughs> I don't have a Roomba. Uh... <laughs> The Roombas are just wide enough to suck a kid under. <laughs> you wouldn't true. know it. I lost a son. Um, no, it's I don't true. have a vacuum, but I'm working on it. It's true. <laughs> That's is the that sound a... of a Roomba, for those of you that don't know. That is red band <laughs> soundboard good. at full effect. Uh, amazing. How old was your son when the Roomba sucked it up? What do you 16, call that? Yeah. 16 years old. 16, yeah. Wow, tiny little guy. But it was a, it's a chicken or the egg. Was it a big Roomba or was it a small son? Right. And <laughs> it was the perfect storm, really. Yeah. The Roomba was just big enough and my son was just small enough, so. In a flortion, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Really late stage aflortion, yeah. 16-year-old <laughs> aflortion. Uh, so I love tragic. it. What else is going on, Casey Rocket? Been dealing with that, and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> something like that never really goes away, so... <laughs> I'm trying to make the best of it for now. Um, yeah, it's been a bad summer. I... Um, <laughs> Just <laughs> spending time working on my novel and hanging out with you guys. Oh, Eric Griffin. Y your novel? <laughs> Please tell us more about what you're writing about. I'm guessing it's called When Men Were Men. <laughs> a novel by Casey Rocket. There's a whole Roomba chapter. <laughs> 
I just want to know how he sits still to write a book. <laughs> yeah. Like how you have to really sit and focus. He's got, I have, uh, I, I'm yeah. guessing you have a standing table and it's on wheels. <laughs> yeah. And you're on rollerblades. <laughs> and you're just flying around the room like a Roomba. Like a Roomba, huh? You become the thing you hate the most. <laughs> so, <laughs> so interesting. Casey fucking Rocket. I love the way you get a show started, my friend. You are uh, with quite the silliest goose that's Thank ever you. geesed amongst us. I love your style. A lot of fun stuff happening. He's on yeah. tour. CaseyRocketComedy.com. We love you. Thank Make you. Some noise for Thank Casey you guys. Rocket. So fun. Appreciate it. He's a freak of nature. Ladies and gentlemen, Make some noise for the great and powerful, the one and only, this is Casey Rocket. I've been waiting all day for Sunday night. All right, cool. Hell yeah. NFL on what? KT. All right, cool. God, it's funny you bring that up, Tony. I, um, a lot of people have been asking me, Titty Boy LaCroix, and I say speaking, and they say, who are you? Really? And I tell them the truth, ladies and gentlemen, and in many ways, I'm an oil man. I... I buy oil, I sell oil, I drink oil. I go to the hospital because I drink too much oil. I sneak out of the hospital in the dead of night and the staff starts freaking out because the oil man's loose. And I sneak back into the hospital dressed as Heath Ledger, dressed as the Joker, double costume. <laughs> and I burn it to smithereens. <sighs> oh, what's this? Yes? More oil? Absolutely. Thank you, I'm Casey Rocket. Have a good night. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was wild. Thank you. An unorthodox performance by Casey oh. Rocket. Um, very, very interesting. A lot of oil. Mr. President, what'd you think about that? Uh, here's the deal, folks. You look like if somebody fucked a lint trap without a condom. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Biden. Oh. I'm a big fan. Oh. Huh? <laughs> That's how I pick the candidate, like the bachelorette. I give him a rest. <laughs> Am I supposed to suck your dick now, or what do I do? What do I do? I, whatever you want. You're the president of the United States. I'll give it to my wife. You know my wife, Jill? <laughs> love her, yeah. She's one of the best. Don't you fucking lie to me right now. I love her. <laughs> No, I love her. You're man. funny. You're funny. You did. You did the thing. You did the. Th you did what we all did. You get up here. You go for it. You put. You do it. You did it. <laughs> Where, hey, you. hey, hey, hey. Where's your shirt? <laughs> Good one, Mr. Biden. <laughs> President Biden. I liked it. I liked it. Hey, it was good. It was good. How, how old are you? Twenty nine. Okay. Hey, how old are you? Anyway. <laughs> 81. 81, move strong. Hey, hey. You want to fight? You want to fight? Mm -mm. Titty Boy LaCroix, where does such a name come from? <sighs> where does any name come from, really? <laughs> <laughs> My parents, I guess. My parents were the Yin Yang twins. Yeah. And they're not biological twins, it was a stage name. Um, <laughs> And they fell in love on the road during Lollapalooza, and... I was there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you opened for Alice in Chains. I right? did. Yeah. 
That was cool. I was there as a roadie for young, for young. So it's cool. It's one of my favorite bands. Wow. And the oil business. This is a new thing we haven't heard of. Lucrative. Um, good money in oil. Um, sold a lot of it. Drank a lot of it. Why are you drinking yeah. the oil? Why does anyone do anything? I... <laughs> Because you're an American. Because I'm an American. <laughs> and you have to. You have to. You got to. It's the best country on planet Earth. Nobody can st Legally, no one can stop you from drinking oil. That and is I've true. taken full advantage of that. What does it taste like? Slick. Slick what? <laughs> That's an adjective. <laughs> mm. That's an adjective. Where'd you go to school? That's a trick question. I know you didn't. <laughs> a high school or college? You pick. Um, first Methodist. First Methodist. All right. <laughs> Perfect. That's not how you say that, but all right. <laughs> went to first Methodist, then I went to second Methodist for college. So it's kind of a. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> Second Methodist is much bigger, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Titty Boy LaCroix, a.k.a. Casey Rocket. No better way to get the show started than with your unbelievable Thank style. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having me Thank back. Have Thank fun. The return of Casey Rocket. No, you don't have to stand up, Mr. President. Casey, will you take that glass with you? Thank you so much. Have one more time for Casey Rocket. No better time to use a big stage like this than for somebody who's gonna use it. I present to you an absolute freak of nature. This is Casey Rocket. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna be late for my quinceanera. Uh, <laughs> physically fast, spiritually Latino. I, uh, okay. So cool. Little hat work, get lost. I, uh, come on now. I, uh, <laughs> shouldn't have done that. All right, we're riffing. Lock the exit. I, uh, oh, it's been a tough week. Where was Stuart Little on 9 11? I, uh, <laughs> we know he had an airplane. Uh, we know he had motive. Uh, if he can't have a family, no one can. All right. Come on. I, uh, can't real. I uh, haven't been this nervous since we held that car wash to save the football team. I, uh, <laughs> you should have seen Coach. He'd never been happier. I, uh, <laughs> you guys did this for me. I, uh, can't real. Give me one last minute. I, uh, whatever. <laughs> Oh man, oh, it's been a tough week. I uh, was walking down the alleyway earlier and a bunch of those dudes from Barstool Sports beat the shit out of me again. Uh, <laughs> kept saying, what's the score of the Jets game, pussy? I don't know, sir. I don't know, now do I? All right, uh, so sassy. Yeah. People call me the Ric Flair of the New York comedy scene. Oh yeah. Because I exposed myself to a waitress. Okay. Come on. We got him. Casey Rocket, thank you so much. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it again. The crowd is on their feet, signifying that the crab man has arrived. <laughs> and you. indeed, we are getting word from the officials here at Madison Square Garden that is the fastest any artist has ever moved at a 180-degree angle, side to side, 
in the history of the building. Casey, you've done it again. How do you feel? Thank you for asking, Tony. I feel electric. <laughs> <laughs> All my friends are here. I was inducted last night into the Gambinus crime family. I'm so excited. <laughs> Little Charlie, Charlie Daniels, Big Mike, everybody was there. They gave me the special, the cane of truth. <sighs> what, is that? What, is, what kind of power or history does the cane of truth have? Justice, equality. Um, <laughs> Sanitation, numbers rackets, <gasps> racketeering. Um, oh God, I am. Uh, <laughs> if you guys could get out of here, I'd like a moment alone. Um, <laughs> you are a fucking wild, wild boy, Casey Rocket. How, how do you like New York City? Uh, I love it. I had uh, got here yesterday. I had Chick Fil A. It was good. It was even better. Wow. Yeah. Absolute. Big Chick-fil-A crowd. Yeah, I mean, Love this it. is, New York is famous <laughs> for their Chick-fil-A. You can only get it here. Everybody knows that. Yeah. It's a Gambinus thing. You wouldn't understand. It's true. <laughs> Joe Rogan, what do you think about Casey Rock? I got your ring, bro. Oh, thank you. You lost a ring. Thank you. It's my wedding ring. For any of you guys out there who think that I, can't, I could never get married, you were wrong. I got married. <laughs> Amanda Pandemonium, you ready? Open up. Oh my, oh my god! What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Did you, did you guys plan that out? You're definitely his friend, dude. You're wearing a red and stimpy shirt. You're definitely No way we got that on camera, did Did, did, did oh, anybody insane. get that? Are you out of your mind? Can he keep that ring? Can he Swallow keep, it. Can he uh. keep the ring? <laughs> yeah. No, yes, you actually can. told them. Who are you with? You got to keep who's that, that ring, Who's dog? that sitting next to you? You don't know? You're a plant, dude. Nobody catches with their mouth like that. <laughs> For those of you that missed it, which I'm pretty sure was 14,000 people behind him. <laughs> Let me pause. The guy opened his mouth. Casey threw it directly into his mouth. He caught it in his mouth and then put it on his finger. Casey, do you know this man? It was the perfect throw. He didn't even perfect have to throw. move abruptly. Yeah. It was crazy. Barely moved. He barely moved. Oh, it was a perfect throw. Wait, you had a plant the entire show that was just here to catch a ring in his mouth? And you trapped me. You trapped me into retrieving your ring, you clever bastard. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. I, uh... <laughs> Did you hear the chink of his tooth? It was the... unbelievable. Yeah, it, it definitely hit his teeth a little bit. That's yeah. so crazy. The I guy... was worried you were going to die. <laughs> Swallow that bitch. Oh, man. So that's Amanda Pandemonium, that guy with a beard? That's right. Absolutely incredible. Amanda Pandemonium, my wife. <laughs> that is your wife. It is a man. He caught the ring in his mouth. I mean, that was... It was like... It was like... The show was only for the four of us for a second there. I feel like the simulation is real. That, it was unbelievable. Red Band and I know. The it's stars, real. Oh, he's filming. The it's stars filming. are lined up right now. Casey Rocket in the zone. He's in full effect, chuckling Thank with you. the cane of truth. <laughs> he throws the ring. A man catches it in his mouth. What can I say that I haven't said a thousand times before, Casey? There's no one like you in the fucking world. You've proven it again with Amanda Pandemonium. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What a pleasure, New York. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, Casey Rocket. Yes. Hell yeah, dude. Wait, wait. Yes. I got to figure this out. It's impossible, though, because he dropped that ring and you picked it up. Yeah, I, I scrambled for it. I had to go underneath the curtain to get it. I saw it roll under the curtain. I grabbed it. And you're just a regular guy by yourself that snagged that with his mouth. Is that oh, the greatest cool. moment of your life? That's crazy. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. You know, it's a big stage here at Madison Square Garden. There's a lot of space to be used. A lot of comedians, they stand in one spot. Some sit on a stool. Some leave the mic in a mic stand. 
I present to you someone that knows how to use this stage to its fullest. This is Casey Rocket. I just want to break you down so badly. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, very cool. All right, six laughs, very fun, all right. Yeah, just follow Dice Clay, just follow Dice Clay. Come on, man, get real. I'm doing protest riffs tonight, folks. I got nothing to lose. All right, we're having fun, protest riffs. I'm like Bob Dylan when he went electric. I, uh, <laughs> it's like I'm pregnant and addicted to air duster. I, um, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. I, uh, I'm not even a comedian. This is a fucking goodwill hunting situation. I, uh, t Tony found me outside Yankee Stadium just riffing in the alleyway earlier. <laughs> Who's the crab guy? I just wanna, I, uh, what if Zabumafu was by? I, um, hell yeah, big Zabumafu crow. I, uh, <laughs> no, it's funny you bring that up. I, um, I went to the uh, methadone clinic earlier because uh, baby had the shaky and I uh, actually ended up getting a crayon stuck in my dick hole. Um, <laughs> fellas, is it just me? Am I getting older? The crayon's getting smaller. I am. Um, you know, it's Biden's America though. Uh, Thank you, I'm Casey Rocket, we did it. Casey motherfucking Rocket, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, has done it again. Appreciate it. Wow. Big riff, big laugh. Dave, you ever see anything like a Casey Rocket before? <laughs> oh my God, I'm still taking it all in. You know, years ago when you were with the Wiggles, I was gonna ask you. <laughs> you are musical, dude, correct? Yes or no? Uh, I am musical? Yeah. Like, I'm musical. You can sing, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. I could sing you something. I could sing you anything if you wanted. Mm, yep. That's you all right. Any, you have any requests? We'll circle back to it. <laughs> do, you know the, do you know the Pepto Bismol theme song? Uh huh. Yeah. It's not just for kids, it's not just for guys, it's for girls too. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> that was the Pepto Bismol theme song. <laughs> yeah. By the way, if Kamala wins, we will make crayons big enough to fit inside your cock comfortably. <laughs> you have my word. He's got my vote. What a guy. What a disgusting promise. We don't want this. <laughs> no one here wants this. We want colored pencils <laughs> in this guy's penis. We need that. You can't say colored pencils anymore, Donald. Black pencils, the blackest pencils. Pens, we call them pens. We call black people pens now. That's a new fun racist thing I came up with just now. And please don't actually do that. I regret this. My bad. <laughs> hey, Casey, can you hold those gloves out for a second, man? Hold those gloves. I picture you later in an alleyway giving Spider-Man a glow-in-the-dark hand job. <laughs> Andrew Dice Gay. <laughs> Tony Tomastock. <laughs> Casey Rocket, you're a fucking sensation. What can I say that I've said a thousand times before? The crowd is with you every goddamn time. A true live performer. One more time for the rising star, the shooting star. That was Casey Rocket. Never made it as a wise man